Okay guys, today I'm joined by a special guest, Alan, and uh, today we are going to be doing a test of the Desert Eagle in a little bit more of a real or simulated environment with a charging bear target. And we're gonna try to see both of us how, we, how well we can hit it if the reliability of the Desert Eagle is up to snuff or up to par. And overall, then we'll end with a discussion and kind of explain our thoughts on how we think the Desert Eagle performed. Do you have anything to add? Yeah, I'm, uh, like you said, I'm Alan from Guns Gear and Outdoors Alaska, and I've been kind of skeptical of the Desert Eagle in the past. I've kind of said some mean things about it, said it wasn't the most practical gun in the world, but I'm open-minded. Today we're going to put it to the test, see if we can change my mind or not. It should be really fun either way. So catch part two of this video over on my channel, but let's get to shooting if you ain't got anything else. <laughs> let's do it. Well, I got... Matt's Desert Eagle here, and this one's chambered in 50 AE. I've only ever shot a 44 mag Desert Eagle before, so this should be interesting. I'm just going to take a couple shots to familiarize myself with the gun before we get started on the charging bear target, but this thing is a hog, so let's get to it. It really isn't. A lot of people are expecting a lot, but that compensator really does. Yeah, help. that brake works. You can feel it on your face, yeah. but I was <laughs> aiming at his eye. I got him in the eye. So. Yeah, it's it's dead on as far as accuracy goes. Oh, that safety. Yeah. Yeah. Okay guys, so that was the first round that I didn't, that I remembered to turn the safety off of, so that was a, a plus. But uh, I, as you guys could probably hear, I got four shots off, three of them, two were actually real hits. There was one kind of graze up here, you could see the bullet hit there, but uh, yeah, not really probably a significant hit. But I did get four shots off. Uh, the biggest thing, like I was telling Alan, is uh, with the 50 AE, you know, you have that semi-auto speed, but the thing that it's very hard about the uh, Desert Eagle is you have the semi-auto speed, but you also have like s close to the recoil of a 44. So you can run this gun fast, but can you control it enough? Can you, you know, after your shot, can you rebound and make a another good hit? Because just winging shots off, just, you know, you can fire seven rounds real quick, but if they don't make meaningful contact, then you're just ultimately making a lot of noise. Yeah, I think getting four off was pretty good, and you got hits on the bear, but they're just a little bit outside of the, the optimal zone here. Yeah. Yeah. You want to set it up and try it again, then it'll be my yeah. turn? Or? Yeah. All For right. Sure. Cool. Okay guys, so that run went a lot more promising. Um, I got pretty effective hits, albeit maybe a little bit lucky that I got them in the eye. But that time, um, it just it felt a lot better for me shooting the Desert Eagle. The first time, of course, I just completely flopped. The second time, I was really trying to rush to see how many rounds I could get off. But this time, I really kind of just tried to focus on accuracy above all else. So it was a little bit better. Um, the biggest thing I will say, the biggest takeaway, like I was telling Alan with this Desert Eagle, when I came into this test, I thought for sure when it came to drawing the Desert Eagle, I could draw it out with one hand, flick the safety off, but in, especially in the last two where I got rounds off, the last two uh, kind of runs, 
I was using my support hand to flick this safety off. And I just think that that is the most realistic way. My mind under duress is like, use the support hand, flick the safety off. That's what you have to do because it's so hard to try to reach up and strike the safety uh, when an animal or when a simulated animal is actually moving in on you. And like you said, focusing on accuracy, I think that was good for you. You got one less shot off, mm -hmm. but the same amount of rounds on the bear and yeah. that one in the eye and that chest, a lot yeah. better shot placement. So yeah. I'm, I'm a little nervous how I'm going to do with this thing, but let's give it a shot. Okay guys, so this was Alan's first turn, so I'm gonna let him take over and uh, explain his stuff. Uh, Mike here, I was really happy with that run. I got a hit kinda low in the chest, that might have just grazed him or it might have been pretty effective. And then a good one right in the channel of the nose. And then another one a little high on the head. I was really impressed with how well I was able to recover and get back on target and this I think this shoots a little bit easier than a revolver. We'll talk about that later in the discussion, but overall I'm I'm pretty happy with that second time shooting the gun. I'll I'll take that yeah. any day of the week and maybe I'm warming up to the Desert Eagle a little bit, but this it's pretty heavy. Yeah, and I think once again that that safety is just like we we both are really liking the Desert Eagle. It's just the safety when in stress testing it. You know, when you have something actually running at you, when there's a timer, so to speak, um, the the safety gets in the way a lot. But still, hits are hits, and we're still getting you know three shots off pretty consistently. It seems like between the both of us. Yeah, let's. I'll do one more run, and then we'll get into some deep discussion about it. Yep.